Got a surprise last night. Bad turn of events. Ice fishing season opens today. The Buddy's Avalon rabbits are uh, getting the best of us. It's just so beautiful walking in the woods now. And look what we got here. Well, what a beautiful day here in the big land. Oh, hang on. This is not the big land. This is the island of Newfoundland. We're out here for a few weeks, getting some things taken care of. And, uh, you know, it was a big change for us because we're used to uh, life in Labrador now and the, all the wilds that it affords. But uh, it's quite different here. We are in the city of St. John's and it's busy. You know, there, there's rush hour traffic and traffic lights and buildings everywhere and pavement. And, you know, you can go day to day and, and not hardly see any trees, you know. So for anybody who knows me or watch the channel, know that I am pretty much out of my element here right now. So what we decided to do was day one, getting here, uh, pull open Google Earth and the app there on the phone I started looking at different areas, you know, where there were walking trails and wooded places, and we started to explore. And what amazed me, actually, is that uh, I didn't have to look around too far to get outside of the urban setting, 10 minutes outside of the town limits, and, uh, you know, you see all these, these forested areas. So this is where we've been exploring. Uh, I have no gear with me, but I picked up a new pair of snowshoes. I needed those anyway. And... Uh, we have a new nice bit of snowshoeing. And in the snowshoeing, I discovered that uh, there's a nice few rabbits out here. The season is still open. I checked out the local regulations here and uh, got myself some snaring wire. So we're gonna do some uh, scouting around the woods here, set out a few rabbit slips, make the best of it. And to make the best of it, of course, you gotta have a boil up and something to eat along the way. So we'll definitely do that too. So come along with us as we do a little bit of exploring here on the Avalon Peninsula of the island of Newfoundland. Right now, it's anything but normal on the Avalon Peninsula. St. John's and surrounding towns remain under a state of emergency tonight after Friday's historic blizzard. Official. That's right, George, do you? What's wrong? <laughs> you can't get out or something? What a great day for snowshoeing! Currently in the deep, deep interior of Crimson Street. To the track steer boy, but that's not enough. Uh, at least we ran there a couple times. All right, this is a good spot. I see where one, two, three different rabbits came in this one little hole here. I think we'll put one there, Andrew. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll cut through a little corridor there. So, good spot, but slip. So, as mentioned, I have no tools hardly. Andrew uh, loaned me his pocket knife, so I got to cut off a tree to put the snare on now. Just using that knife. Kind of wish I had all the gear I got back home, but I don't. So we'll do what we uh, can with what we got. There we go. Perfect. 
guys, we had a load of snow. Let's see if I can get the stick down a bit. This is how much snow we got in the last week. Luckily, it's a little cross on the top. It's not so hard to snowshoe. Now, I went Canadian Tire and picked up some wire. The only thing is, we haven't got a set of cutters. Got to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Of course, if you haven't got a set of cutters, you get wire like that. Okay, I want it, I kind of want to cut it off right there. Of course, you can do what you want now, you won't break that. But if you take it and put at least a little loop in it like that, so kind of bring it together about there, like that. And then give it a real quick yank. It'll break just like that. Again, I don't like this wire. There's a certain kind of wire you gotta use down here. A little bit different to what I'm used to. It's hard to get it to twist right or something. I'm only gonna put out about three or four slips, just enough to catch a rabbit. Just enough to make me feel like I'm back home and get a fresh rabbit for the pot, oh, hopefully. I cut this wire off way too long, but that's all right. I'll go around the tree about three times like that. Three or four times like that, and then just put that wire up here in the way somewhere. One there to kind of coax him to put his head up there. The guide stick. spot for a rabbit to come through hopefully all right so we had a couple of birch sticks there so uh, I'm gonna put one on each side I think this is coax them in there a little bit one there and one on the other side Let's see you must have a little bit like that right more than one track more than one track Free spot for the slip. Hey, uh, do perfect wood whittler. <laughs> Say it's do perfect? Yeah, <laughs> like you need it. So uh, I learned from Chuck Porter having a door. Say it to him, by the way. <laughs> then when you hazard it, you go. There you go. Learn something from your old man anyway. Well, while Andrew's setting up that one, I'm going to set up one on the other side of the trail. I think there'll be a couple rabbits in that lead. So I'll set up one right across the way from him and uh, we'll see who gets it near him. Some tights in the freeze right in there overnight, see? <laughs> this big old pond here. We'll go down by the side this one now and uh, Tuck away a little spot and have a little boil up, I think. A little poise built on the limbs, gonna make it harder to start. That's a good spot, man. I just grab up some old dead wood here now, enough to boil the kettle. Oh, perfect love the day, though. <clears throat>
don't have my fire steels and stuff today. You find it, Andrew? No? Well, hmm. bad turn of events. Uh, again, this is not my Labrador gear. I have one lighter with me. Couldn't find a pack of matches in the place I'm staying, so I took a lighter. And uh, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe just reached in my pockets, you know, where I had the wire and stuff. I must, it must slip out of my pocket somewhere along the way. Anyway, there will be no fire today, but there will be one later, uh, if we can find a lighter. If not today, another day or whatever. Alrighty then. Always something, eh? Okay, Willow, we're going out. Well, brother. We got uh, three slips out, that's enough for today. We don't want to put them all in one day. We'll come back another day now and check those and if we see some more leads, we'll put a couple more slips. Sound good to you? Sounds good. Alright, let's head her home and come back in tomorrow. and his girlfriend today to have a little walk around and check the slips. Beautiful day. What a gorgeous day. Cold, but sunny. They were here. They were here already? Oh, I thought they were. Yes, boy. Let me see. Yep, see where they were here. It actually looks like you might have uh, walked right around the snare, so... Well, this rabbit's one, us zero. But really, we're winning anyway, on a day like today. I could not live with it. Stay with the widow pan. It's a chilly morning this morning. Just after sunrise here. About minus 11 or so. Celsius. Snow is pretty scrunchy. Heading out to check out the slips. And nice morning walk. The rabbits really seem to be feeding on this uh, lurch. See by that tree. See where they're eating down large. I guess there's no birch low enough for them to get at right now. Well, they were definitely here. See what he did? That's what we call striking up the slip. Which means he stepped over it and hooked something into it, just put his paw into it or something and just slipped down by and he ate all the birch there. I need all the birds here. But that's a good thing. You gotta feed. So we'll set her back up now and uh, just hope for the best next time. One of you guys, I think Brian, suggested I put a little chin up stick right there. So I'll do that too. Right there, he comes along, puts his chin up right into the snare. Put some more birch on that side of the snare. Bit more on this side. There we go. Birch, snare, more birch. Why well, these Avalon rabbits are uh, getting the best of us? Smarter than I thought. Hey, funny face. Sweet butt. So we're just walking down this brook that we walked the first day, and I lost my lighter. Look what I found. I guess I dropped it and. I guess Andrew come behind me and step on it or whatever. Mystery solved, Willow. Well, 
This is a keen rabbit. He never come through a lot. I can see he came to the other side. Eat whatever whatever he could off that birch twig. And stop there and come through. So, so that is a smart rabbit. And uh, likewise on Andrew's snare. Uh, he came to the outside of this, in, towards the woods we'll say. Came out, ate the birch, had a little poop, and wouldn't come through the snare where the other piece of birch was. Ah, the hard part is that there's a cross on top of the snow here, and you can't tell uh, where the tracks are, you know, because another technique now would be put a, uh, a snare where they're coming in, you know, because they realize the food is here. But it's really, really hard to see a track now, but I'm going to have a look around just seeing. Alright, so that's the snare. I came inside now and I'm going to put another snare right here and make a little miniature pound. Uh, you probably saw my other video there where I had to, you know, most pounds were bigger, like four foot by four foot, but this one's going to be just this two, little narrow way here with a snare there and a snare right here. Because after being in there at least two nights now feeding, so it might be a little bit comfortable. Let's give that a try. All right, there we go. Put some birch in between uh, those two snares now and call her done. All right, well, let's go again. Check our rabbit snares, have a walk in the woods, and see what we can see in the beautiful land. Well, struck up the snare again. Hmm. Set her up and try again, I suppose. Well, this is truly one of them times when I can say I don't care if I catch a rabbit or not. At least I have one for the pot. But having said that, it's just so beautiful walking in the woods now. Like, you know, just, I'm, I'm glad I keep coming back, put it that way. Absolutely gorgeous. What do you think, Willow? Yeah, just keep coming back, eh? Well, if I wasn't pressed for time, I'd have a cook up the day, but I got something, a commitment to make now, so try and make it tomorrow. Off we go again. So we got a surprise last night. This guy showed up, my cousin Jamie from Nova Scotia. Came down a surprise, spent a weekend with me. What's wrong, Jamie? You caught up there, buddy? <laughs> so we're out checking the rabbit slips now. Just like being old with his little boys. That's right. So we see the rabbit came there last night. Dropped that slip again. That's three times now. So definitely outsmarting us. And uh, I can guarantee you that, that brass wire acts differently than the stuff we're used to home. But Jamie put a bit of stuff there now, so we got a special touch on it. Who knows what'll happen. So, we kind of had some luck. But at the same time, we didn't. He got in there. And busted it off slip. And that is what I suspected, because that uh, brass wire is designed for that. To, uh, you know, if you get your pine marten or something into it, it'll easily burst itself off. And in this case, the rabbit burst it off, so. And I can see where he went up through the woods up there and ran away unharmed. Lucky old rabbit. Another day with no rabbit, but Still a good day all the same, isn't it, buddy? Absolutely. Morning, guys. It's a cold one. It's at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Sun is not up yet. I woke up this morning shortly after 5, like I normally do. I don't sleep in. Can't. Just had to get up and uh, come on out for a walk in the woods. 
but I particularly can't stay in bed if I know I'm going in the woods. And I wish I could explain it to you, but I just can't. How much I love to be in the woods. It's just, uh, it's just the way it is. And to go for a walk in the woods and with the snowshoes and a willow and family and friends. It's unexplainable. I just, I don't know how to put it in words, but it's like magic or music to the soul or whatever kind of phrase you'd like to put in here, but it's just great. A little bit of snow last night. I suppose we'll see a whole lot of tracks this morning other than the thick woods. By the way, guys, update on those snowshoes. I uh, record all my walks every day with a topographical map app and uh, it's been about 250 kilometers I've walked in these snowshoes and remember I was telling you I was uh, apprehensive about the strap uh, system here and the way it secures these snowshoes have not come off my feet one time which is more than I can say for most snowshoes and we've had some really cold core temperatures not Labrador temperatures but I must say, I am really impressed with these. They're easy to get on, easy to get off. And uh, this system is so user friendly. You wanna take them off, you do that. To get them back on, you snap the snap there. And just wind them up. Wind up like that, and they are on. And like I say, 250 kilometers, no signs of any where anything loosen up they've not come off my foot one time yet so that's a good thing see a couple of rabbits came out last night and did some feeding around so that's a good sign well it was just sniffing those tracks there instead of fox tracks i guess the foxes are plentiful down here too so even if i get a rabbit it might just be food for the foxes possibly that's all right too well, no rabbit here again this morning. There were a couple of rabbits in around, but it never came and went inside my little mini pound there. You all right with that? Absolutely. I just uh, ran across a couple of tree fellows here. From out around this way, and they're going ice fishing. Ice fishing season opens today. And, uh, they just recognized me there and said hello. Uh, do you want to go fishing on this pond out here, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. And what's your guys' names? I'm Nick. I'm Jordan. And I'm Dylan. Nice to meet you guys, buddy. Well, I hope you uh, guys get to have lots of luck today. They say there's some mud trout out in that pond. Yeah. So what you got there? Six inch hogger, is it? No, there's an eight inch here. Well, eight inch. Well, you're going for the big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. What kind of bait you got today? Or a big secret? We just got worms on the worms today. Doing worms? Yeah. yeah. Right on, boys. Well, that's wonderful. What happens to swing back this way? Hopefully, I'll uh, see you with a few trout. Yeah, yeah, sir. All right, guys. Have a great day. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, that was a treat to meet those three fine young gentlemen there. Not only were they aware that the season was open today and they were, you know, respectful of that, they were worried about ice uh, thickness, which is crucially important, especially this time of the year. You know, when the temperature sometimes goes above zero in the daytime, so. And these, you know, these are different days today because uh, you don't see young people the same as you did one time, but uh, to meet three young fellows like that, I hope to get some fish, you know, to keep their interest peaked and uh, have a boil up or something like that. Wonderful stuff. Well, we got a lot of rain coming, so uh, I think I'll take up these slips now. And just start exploring other areas in the coming days. See, we had a bit of snow since the last time I was here. But when we got uh, 15 to 30 millimeters of rain coming, that's going to make a huge impact on the type of snow we're going to have afterwards. So, go ahead and take them up. But we're still going to keep going in the woods, right? Oh, yes. The willow's acting a bit funny. Now look what we got here. Oh, that's very good. Now we can definitely go ahead and take up our snares. We got our rabbit we wanted for the pot. That's going to taste delicious, my die. Huh? Isn't that great? 
Oh, mine was cold last night. Oh, froze hot. Smell good, my dad. Yeah, I bet you're happy about it. You like rabbit, don't you? Nice organic food. You get a picture for Andrew. Because he wasn't here today. I'd say he would have liked to been here today to see this. Okay, watch it, but hi. Watch out! You can't believe it, I can't believe it either. Finally, eh? Yeah, she's warmed up. Here's the mystery lighter. Hell, it kept it close ever since. That's all it takes, pretty simple, eh? When you got one in your hand. No good start drooling yet. Funny face. What are you waiting for? I'm not going too far now. There's food on the go, are ya? You little rascal. So this mixture today on this uh, kebab is a uh, it's a moose sausage there uh, there's some kibasa I'm not quite sure how you say that but right there homemade uh, and by the way these moose sausages and kibasa is actually made by Joe Drew a good friend of mine in the uh, southern shore here out of Newfoundland uh, down on Bay Bulls area he can make just about anything with uh, with moose meat and stuff you know and some green peppers and some mozzarella cheese and of course uh, everything from here back is mine but this is Willow's little treat for her too. Hmm. On top of being delicious in the beginning, that smoky taste from the fires on top of it, Man, it can't get no better. I got some more of this in my knapsack here too, so I think I'll be making a second one. This cheese is all smoked as well, look. Mmm! Mmm!
Well guys, this is another boil up uh, gone for the day. And actually it'll be our last boil up for this trip on the Avalon Peninsula. And I must say over these last few weeks, I've had a ball exploring this country out here. I've never been in depth like this before. And I'm amazed by, uh, you know, again, given the city setting, as opposed to out here, you're in the middle of, of nowhere. It's so it fields and you don't see many people back here either. So it's like you're, you're all, all remote again, you know? And you might say, well, you're out there on a medical purpose. How can you enjoy yourself? Well, you got to see the best or make the best out of every situation. And rather than just sit around all day, every day, you could do that if you wanted to, but to get out and experience uh, this type of outdoor scenery pretty much on a daily basis, uh, you know, it, it helps you out way, way more. And uh, you haven't seen Melanie with me. Melanie has her foot in a boot cast and uh, for at least a week she was held up and couldn't move at all. So uh, she's getting on the go now and uh, both of us are doing well, by the, by the way. And uh, I thank you so much for all your comments in the last couple of videos. I know you guys are thinking about us and remembering us in your prayers and all that kind of stuff. And that's good. It feels good to know that people are, uh, you know, compassionate that way. It really does. And I thank each and every one of you for all your nice comments. But on top of exploring uh, all this land and, and like a, a close to 300 kilometers now I've walked and, and snowshoed actually since I've been here, I've met up with friends and family that some of them I haven't seen in decades. And I've had so many uh, uh, trips with them, you know, my cousins and stuff and and, and walked and snowshoed with them. And it was just great, you know, to, to reunite with people like that where if I wasn't here, that would probably would, it might never happen again. So it was great that way, wonderful. But we'll be driving back to the big land now in the next couple of days. And uh, we're going to go back the long way through the Maritimes and kind of make a bit of a trip out of it, you know. So it'll be at least a couple of weeks before I post another video because it takes, you know, four or five days just to drive back that way, actually. So I'm looking forward to getting back, you know, you get back home and go back to my cabin and get on my snowmobile and grab my hot tent and more campfires and, and cutting logs and working on the uh, cabin kitchen and... There's always something to look forward to, you know, especially in the winter time like this. And it's just so nice to get outside. I absolutely love it, if I haven't mentioned that already. So as always, guys, thanks for watching the video today, coming along with us on this journey. Until next time, I want you to take care and get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. Are you ready to go? Yeah, you're gone now. All the food is gone. See you next time, guys.